Hello everyone, it's the Metal Geek. How y'all doing? Guys, welcome to a special edition Metal Geek Vlog today. Today, we're going to be doing a first impression review. Basically, that means I'm going to be doing a review based off the first impression of a product. But basically, it's going to be just me talking to you, letting you know what I think of this product. And what product am I talking about? This. This is the Sega Genesis Ultimate Portable Game Player. It's a handheld device, guys, with 80 games installed, 40 official Genesis games, including Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat 2, and Mortal Kombat 3. And this is the actual player. That's a sleek little portable. Feels really good in the hand. It doesn't feel all that cheap, though it's not that heavy either. You got a 3.2 inch screen, which is actually pretty vibrant and bright. It's got a directional D-pad, which is very nice. It's actually very responsive. And you've got six buttons over here. Of course, this is based off the six button Genesis controllers. If you flip over here to the bottom, you have a headphone jack, which you're gonna wanna use headphones on this cause, well, the speaker isn't that great. And on this side, you have the power button. And if you flip over here to the top, you're gonna see that you have an AV port. This can be hooked up to the TV and played on the TV. Though it doesn't come with the AV cables, but you can get those rather cheaply. And this is your charging port because yes, this does have a rechargeable battery installed. But what I think is the coolest feature of them all is this right here. The SD card slot. Yes, this can take an SD card and you can actually play ROMs. Yes, you can actually play ROMs on this system. Now, not every ROM is compatible. It has to be a BIN file, it can't be any other type, but for the most part, most of the ROMs that I've tried have actually worked well. Now, before we fire this thing up, let's take a look at the packaging. The packaging is nice. I really like the packaging. This looks like good old classic Sega Genesis packaging. To be honest with you, it really reminds me of the old packaging for the original Genesis. It's got all the information on it. If you flip it over to the top, it'll show the system, the button layout. It also shows that it has a rechargeable battery and an SD card slot. Flip it to the back and it shows all your games. In the package, you get the machine itself. You get a USB recharging cord, but you don't get the power block, so I guess, you know, you could just charge it on your computer, but in all honesty, thanks to smartphones, who doesn't have at least one or two of these power blocks lying around their house? And you get the instruction manual, which if you open up, it's gonna start off by showing you again the button layout on the system and what does what. Flip the page and it shows you the various things that you can do with the system and how to run it. And then after that, all the rest of the pages are pretty much dedicated to descriptions of the games that are included on the machine. Now guys, this does have a very vibrant screen on it, though it is daytime, and I'm not sure how my camera is going to pick it up. But in any case, let me show you a game or two. Before we even get into that, let's look at the menu. We've got a lot of games here, guys. This is just what's installed on the machine. But let's go ahead and pick one. Let's pick Sonic the Hedgehog. As you can see, it runs pretty much like Sonic the Hedgehog. In fact, it runs exactly like Sonic the Hedgehog. The way that this system handles the emulation of the gameplay is immensely awesome. In fact, I can't say anything bad about it. These games work the way they're supposed to, and they're very responsive with the buttons and the D-pad that is included on this machine. Now, one thing that is a problem, though, is that the music doesn't sound all that good. And that's because, for whatever reason, the emulation of the games are fine, but the music doesn't translate well. I'm not sure exactly what happened there, but it kind of sounds like the audio channels are out of sync and everything feels a little off key. And so now moving on to the SD card slot. Now, it has its own dedicated page on the menu. You go to it, you hit start, and it's gonna load up your SD card. Now, whatever games you have on your SD card, it will recognize, and then you can just click on that game and well, it's going to load it up. It's going to play just like it's installed on the system or it's coming off from a cartridge. Now, as you can see, I'm playing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Hyperstone Heist, which is a very awesome, um, but maybe sort of rare game for the Genesis. It's kind of an overlooked turtle game, but it's a really good one. But again, the music. The music is a problem. It sounds out of sync. All the audio channels just don't quite match with each other. Now, there are some games that sound great, but 
the games that don't sound that great, it's pretty noticeable. If that's not a big issue for you and it's really about the gameplay, this is awesome. Now guys, in the end, this is a portable version of At Games Sega Genesis classic gaming console that came out some years ago. And this portable's been around for a while too, but this newer edition comes with the Mortal Kombat series on it, which is something it's never done before. Previously, the portable did come with Street Fighter and some other Capcom games, but now that it's got Mortal Kombat, it's kind of drawing in a new audience. Guys, I hope you all enjoyed this review. This is the Metal Geek saying, have a great one, guys.